Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. This is our topic, business intelligence. My team members is Nur Izzatul Hanim binti Rohizi, Nurul Naimah binti Zainurin, Farah Shamimi binti Mazlan, Nur Aini binti Ismail, dan and Nur Akilah binti Kamaruzaman. What is business intelligence? Business intelligence systems are used to improve an enterprise decision making by combining tools for gathering, scoring, assessing and analyzing business data. Second, business intelligence is a combination of the tool and system involved in an enterprise strategic planning that it the A in its anal analysis. Third, this solution provides a, a single source through which to analyze company, company display data source permitting users to execute queries without the as assistance for technical uh, staff. Technical staff. Next, business intelligence application anal analyze pattern in sales trend, trends, pricing, and customer behavior to assist in the business decision-making process. And last, the continued evolu evolution of the software general encompass new trends including self-service technique and ongoing acqu acquisition that represent a major marking consolidation. Main components of business intelligence Data source, ETL Enterprise Data Warehouse Business Intelligence Analytics User Access Data source or, the, or source data is the primary location it can be database, data set, a spreadsheet, and hard-coded data. When data is displayed, the data is retrieved from its data source, and it will be presented in the format designed in the code. The application on computer of data source are listed on diagram, helping reduce paperwork data into digital work data. Component 2, ETL it, Component 2, ETL ETL stands for Extract, Transform and Load What is ETL? ETL is the set of process by which data is extracted from numerous database, application and system transform as appropriate and loaded into target system. The first part of the extract, transform and load process is understanding the, the data source. What is data modeling? While there are modeling commonalities with the uh, vertical industry, every organization has its own way of doing business. What is data warehouse design? Data warehouse design Ignify provide data warehouse design service with consultant that understand the processing requirement and have the ability to deliver high performance data warehouse. Komponen ketiga, uh, Enterprise Data Warehouse. Ada empat komponen semuanya. Yang pertama adalah Metadata Repository. Repo, metadata Repository ini adalah satu database yang contain the actual data, actual data, ataupun database of data about data. Uh, benda ni adalah konsisten dan reliable lah. Uh, yang kedua adalah Operational Data Store. Database yang didesain untuk integrate data 
uh, untuk uh, menyokong lah untuk masa-masa kita nak uh, control operational reporting. Dia juga digunakan untuk use for control, use for operational decision support. Yang ketiga adalah data warehouse yang uh, content kita punya company daripada data kita daripada dulu sampai yang latest. Lepas tu dia akan separate from operational environment. Data ni adalah, adalah non-volatile maksudnya bila power supply tu mati, dia data tu tak akan hilang. Lepas tu dia juga integrated maksudnya boleh dikombin lah pelbagai uh, multiple source data tu dia combine. Okay, yang keempat adalah data mat. <coughs> Access layer of data warehouse. Okay, subset uh, kepada data warehouse. Dia ni adalah summarize kepada semua data dan juga adalah integrating information. Okay, component 4. Business intelligence analytic. What means analytic? Analytic means data that has been generate by using some tools to generate some data or information using prediction technique technique for generate report the reason is to know the company weakness and strength why data analysis technique used is to support decision making okay business intelligence tool why using business intelligence tool is to change data or information that's been gathered to easy language, upgraded and involved to meet business criteria. Example, decision support system take the data from customer to, to make comparison data like sales then the expert worker can make decision from that information and give the result. Component 5. User Access An Enterprise Information Portal, EIP, is a framework used to support and integrate processes, people and information across an organization. It gives a uni unified and secure gateway for information and a knowledge based for employees, partners, and customers. The application interface provi provided by an EIP is often web-based and provides instant deployment, centralized maintenance, and ergonomics, which are intuitive and user-friendly. Features of an EIP include integration, customization, Access control and security, uh, single sign-on, categorization and collaboration, personalization. For integration, provides an integrated navigation gateway for multiple system and components. Customization, provides an, in, an environment for user to customize. Access control and security. The ability to give the limitation needed for spe specific contents and services and needed. The EIP administrator can des design it, the access controls as needed for the organization. Single sign-on. Capabilities for single sign-on can be given to users and other systems. Categorization and collaboration can categorize categorize all information and also provide user the ability to collaborate regardless of physical location. Personal, personalization based on the role and job function. The personalization is possible. The matching content for user is provided and matching services are used. Okay, ni adalah kepentingan kenapa a business intelligence ni perlu di uh, apply lah. Yang pertama adalah kita boleh uh, kita boleh identify, develop. Lepas tu kita boleh create new strategic business, uh, peluang business tu sendirilah. Yang kedua kita boleh handle uh, data yang dalam amount yang besar. Okay, yang ketiga adalah kita boleh accelerate dan improve decision making. Yang 
Yang keempat adalah kita boleh optimize kita punya uh, internal business process. Yang kelima adalah kita boleh bantu company itu untuk uh, identify market trend. Dan yang terakhir adalah kita boleh bantu company itu untuk kita manage uh, opportunity peluang uh, peluang bisnes yang baru. Challenges in implementing business intelligence. First, expensive. In addition to the cost of acquiring the right software, looking for qualified individuals such as data science expert, IT infrastructure professional and consulting analysis may sound terrifying to, to a cash trip company. Two, require ex extensive training. Deliver, deliver insightful and actionable information without need, needing data scientists to collect, prepare and analyze complex data and process it into report that management can understand. Third, timing consulting. Add to the time invested in personal training and this preparation used to make weak or months to complete. And lastly, huge infrastructure investment that in addition to bloating the, the price of develop, deployment, this data warehouse and processor also increase the time needed for setting up. Okay, for the last one question is examples on real implementation of business intelligence. Here are the five, the fifth real world example of business intelligence platforms in action, which is number one is HelloFresh, REI, Coca Cola Bottling Company. The fourth is a cheap water, and the last one is Des Moines Public Schools. So I take a company of Coca-Cola, which is uh, I explain on Coca-Cola company, it having a manual reporting processes, which is restricted access to the real-time sales and operations data, which using paperwork. Then they're using uh, the method uh, which uh, using data source, which digital data source. So it's that all for uh, our presentation of business intelligence thank you